Hello everybody, Grace Toe and we are checking out a game for the channel called Airport CEO. The developer got with me and gave me a key to check this game out, and this game is one I had been following for a while. This is a tycoon building management style of game, one of the favorite game types that I do enjoy, although I will say this game is not for the faint of heart. If you love tycoon games, then you're gonna like this game. It is very complex. This game is probably one of the most complex tycoon style of games I've played and one of the most complex ones I've seen to up to this point. Uh, so as you would imagine, our job is to design, build, manage, and otherwise turn a profit on an entire airport. And it's a lot harder than you think. Obviously there was other airport titles like Sim Airport and such. This here I feel goes way more in depth in a lot of different things. You kind of have to see it. I had to I had to play around with this game for a while before I could even make this episode because there's so much and there's so much still that I don't know, but I'm going to try and work through it as best we can. I like the little airport signs that we have here, little ticker boards. Begin a new adventure we shall. Over here, our CEO of Airport Power. We must design him as such. I think we only have two options, a man or a female. We're going to go with this. Hairstyle. Uh, do you like your hair parted to the left or the right? I guess it depends on whether or not you're looking in a mirror. Let's go ahead and face it this way. Hopefully there is a nice gray color, and there is, as I and any airport CEO will probably be losing the color in their hair very quickly. Skin color. I'm right in the middle. So actually, that's probably right about where it is. A slightly olive tone. Eyes is a brown, so that's perfect, actually. Nose, large. That's about what I have. Let's go with uh, that one right there. The mouth, you have either a slight grin or a full grin. Let's go with the full grin. And then the suit, we have this like business casual over here with the top button unbuttoned. You can't, you cannot have that as a CEO. You boys know. Ooh, we got the purple tie over here. Red tie or casual. Let's go purple tie all day. And then over here, we're going to have a uh, name of uh, Gray. I don't know, McMoney bags. There we go. Seems legit. You get to choose where your airport is. And by the way, you can zoom all the way in. All the way in. Let me, uh, let me see if I can find out. I'm going to go back to my old digs where I was raised right over here. West Milford, New Jersey. That is a really tiny place to have an airport. But damn it, we're making one anyway. Confirm the airport location. The airport name, I don't know, uh, you'll probably die, and then we need, oop, let's go ahead and lowercase that, and then we need the, uh, the IATA code, that's our three letter code, so we're gonna call this the UPD, actually sounds a little bit like a police department, ooh, we get a couple of different potential symbols over here, I actually like the first one, that was pretty neat, five stars, it gives people the idea that we are professional, uh, let's see what else we have over here. Oh, palm trees, huh? Yeah, that's where I'm at over here in Florida. I don't know if we'll utilize that. Let's go with this five-star thing. It looks pretty legit. You have all these different options from easy to moderate to difficult to extreme. I don't know what the difference is in difficulty besides the amount of money that you start with. Like, I don't know if, like, things befall you much worse in extreme. This is, poor. This is funny, though. Don't even bother. This is the worst job you'll ever have. The game is is freaking expansive enough without also giving ourselves an aneurysm it starts us on easy so i'm just gonna pick easy that's the default pretty easy to run an airport being a ceo will pose no threat to your pension the job of a ceo can be challenging sometimes but it's not gonna kill you while your family might bother you about never being home being a ceo is still okay and then like you want to commit seppuku let's go with easy I'm gonna go ahead and launch this off. So here we are in the realm of our very first airport. And like I said, running it first off, there's a lot of reading in this. I'm gonna circumvent some of this because I know a little bit of it. This is from the mayor over here, Gregor Fonsworth. Fantastic name, by the way. He's just telling us a little bit about the game and how happy he is that someone who knows what, they, what they're doing has come to town to build an airport. <laughs> yeah. This is our uh, kind of like UI descriptor. Shows us where everything is, top panels, game menus, management, tutorials, flight planner. The tutorial is specifically very important. The tutorial is very 
uh, read worthy. And you will be reading it. There's not so much like a, a mobile tutorial where like it forces you to click somewhere or highlights things. Instead, you have to read everything. So over here, we have this. This is it. We have a, a, like a tiny little area where some vehicles pull in. And we have nothing else. And thus, we must begin. If we go over to... Let's go over to the dashboard. This is kind of like our cell phone. You can see we have uh, five bars out here in West Milford, which is fantastic. We got Gray McMoney bags of You'll Probably Die. Airport's not even open yet. Luckily, we're not draining any cash. We have five unread messages, so we go over here to emails, and we could read them all. And a lot of them are all about the tutorial. This is uh, Gregor. We already, we already got his welcome party, so let's go ahead and delete that. Construction is our very first step. And it says, hey there, Gray McMoneybag. My name is Linus Carlson. And I works. <laughs> I works as a senior consultant with the city construction office. I've heard that you're interested in learning how to construct an airport. And for this reason, I have given you access to the manuals panel where you can take several CEO courses. It's an E. It's an E course, folks. We get to take it online. Uh, so if we go over here to the manual, you're going to notice. And there, look at this. Look at how many. And it's not just like one step, by the way. It goes on and on. So I'm going to be doing probably some of this off camera. But I'll give you guys a little bit of the taste of what it's like. Now remember, this isn't just about like sending planes up. Half the game is building your airport first and making it functional. So over here, you can see a step one, sign a contract uh, construction company. And that is something that we are going to go do. I believe it's under the operations and construction. I was totally wrong. It's under economy and contract. Over here, we have Berkeley or HWY. We can read a little bit about all of them. It's going to give you, which is really neat. It, and it does this for everything, by the way. It does this for people's resumes. Like, people have backgrounds and stuff. It's friggin' crazy. These are the conditions. We pay them 8.2 an hour, and we get 52 contractors. Uh, let's see. So that's that one over there. How about you, good sir? 6.4, and we get 92. So these folks over here are a little bit cheaper. Will they be as skilled? I really don't know, but I like money, and I don't like giving it to people as much. So let's do this. Berkeley is an international construction group involved in some of the biggest structures in the world. Founded by Martin Berkeley in 1946. You think it, we build it. I like it. You're signed. Well done, everyone. Over to the operations tab. It's time to deploy all. We're going to deploy the crap out of all of our contractors. Our contractors are what's going to be building things. And speaking of building things, that is something that we're going to have to do. One of the very first structures that you do have to build is a... Oh, all the way up here. There it is. Terminal foundation. That's the terminal. That is where... That's where the magic happens, baby. So we're going to want this pretty big. Uh, I'm going to make it actually... Yeah, I'm going to make it pretty big. Let's make it... A better too big than too small, I always say. So let's freaking crank this thing up to 11. We'll bring it... Well... You know what? I'm going to make it up a little bit higher. Hold on. Let's make it a little bit up here because I want like a nice parking area over here, I think. So let's do it like way up here like this. Oh, yeah. There we go. There we go. Let's let's make... Uh, you know what? Let's do odd numbers. So if we have to, we can put stuff in the middle. There we have it. Right like that. 43 by 19. If you guys are OCD, by the way, you're going to hate me. Because I do whatever comes to mind for the most part. And realistically, like I said, we may be changing a lot of this. Like, a lot of things are subject to change. There's all of our contractors. They're spilling out. Now, they don't just straight up go to work, by the way. They have to wait for, uh, like, all these material trucks to come in. And all these... There it is right there. We have a material... Let me click off this. We have a material truck coming in right now. And if we want, we can get rid of that so that we can see a little bit more of the screen. If you zoom in... There's actually, like, like sounds. So you'll hear, like, the sounds of the bus. When people are working, you'll hear the sounds of jackhammers and all kinds of stuff. There come the boxes just flying out. <laughs> it's like, I, I mean, hopefully this is nothing fragile. Probably going to want some doors going in here. So let us do as such. And the airport is underway for the most part. I got a couple of doors going on down here. These folks are building the massive structure that is our airport at $992 an hour. We can go ahead and fast forward this using the one, two, or three keys, I believe. So we can fast forward it way up like this. 
We can also start building parking areas, which we're definitely going to need. If we go back over to our tutorial, just to kind of see what's going on over here, you can see construct terminal is done. Now it wants us to connect to the public transport system. So we're going to need infrastructure, we're going to need a bus stop or car drop off, and make sure the airport is opened via the operations menu before expecting anyone to come. So for right now, we're going to need some drop-offs. So for drop-off areas, we have, let's see over here, infrastructure, bus stop, offload site, and car drop-off. So let's, we're going to use both of those, I do believe. All right, so let's see over here. Infrastructure, bus stop. I think I'm going to put the bus stop out over here, and then there'll probably be like a crosswalk maybe, or should I put the, should I put the stops right in front of the area? Now let's at least have them cross the crosswalk, I think. So let's do it right about... Right about here. Bus stop over here. And then let's do one more bus stop over here. And then we'll put another one over here and another one over here. And now we need some car drop off areas as well. And I think you can also click and drag this. Oh no, you can't. You have to put them down specifically. All right, that's fine. So we'll do that over here. I'm going to have a whole slew of these like this. There we go. Car drop off site. Now you can have a crosswalk and you can make it as big and as potent as you like. So let's, uh, oh no, we don't want one of those. Let's do, uh, actually, yeah, let's do, let's do crosswalk. So that has to be on top of a road. So let's put a giant freaking road right through the middle of this for right now. And then we're going to make it a crosswalk as well. Actually, we don't need that much of a crosswalk, I guess. I'm just putting some crosswalks right in front of these doors for right now. Right like this, going from the bus stops and stuff like that. Should connect all the way across. I guess I could have them in front of both of these. It really doesn't matter. 50 bucks for a crosswalk? That seems like a friggin' deal. So let's put some over there, and we'll put another one right here. I think, I think I have the openings right in the middle of the building as well. I'm sure people would like that. Our little pad over here isn't in the middle, but like I said, this is going to be very minor. I'm probably going to be expanding all of this anyway, and putting... A roadway going through here and probably going all the way around the building so that we can connect everything there's all kinds of like service roads and stuff like that you have to do look at these guys these guys are still building the original terminal they're not even done with that yet let's go ahead and fast forward things a little bit so we can get everything done oh there we go oh yeah oh yeah everything's getting lit up now wow it is dark outside holy crap oh look at this all kinds of cars and stuff are starting to pull up I don't know why you're here yet actually let's go ahead and slow things down I don't know why you're here yet, unless you're here to, like, pick up... Oh, the guys are sleeping on the job? That's interesting. Because the place ain't open. But maybe this is, like, uh, one of the wives or something like that, or one of the one of the friends or something, bringing everyone some, uh, some Kentucky Fried Chicken or some McDonald's or something. They're working late at night. Let's continue over here with our tutorial and see what is next in the manual area. So we have connected to the public transport system. Person walking restrictions. Okay. So remember how I said... That this is one of those games that gets real deep. Well, over here now, it says that the airports are complex megastructures. And what you need is you need zones for people to walk through that only certain people can go. So you're going to have, like, some restricted areas. You're going to have uh, security checkpoints. And you're going to have uh, staff sections as well. So that's something we are going to need to do. So we have to think, what main area are, 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 are the regular people going to be in? So I guess let's do that. This area over here will probably be normal, average Joes. We're going to need to make some walls, I would assume, to go ahead and start blocking off the rest of the area. Not like we're going to block it off, but this is going to be like, uh, this is going to be like the main lobby area, I would say. So let's do it up to here. And then let's do it. Actually, I have to see how far over I brought that. All right, so we're getting all that done. All the other boxes are starting to file in. That's all the reason that people every once in a while just kind of like sit around. They don't do anything. We only have $1.786 million left, boys. We got to get this thing going. That's why uh, every once in a while people just sit around. They don't do anything because we have to wait for these supply trucks to roll in and continue getting all the different resources to the job site. So now on top of this... We're going to need some other stuff. We're going to need, like I said, some restricted areas. I, th I would say everything past this is probably going to be restricted. So let's go to areas. We'll go to staff and secure. Defines the terminal secure as access to and from 
the zone area must be via a security checkpoint or security exit. Okay, so let's do let's do this much right now. This is going to be our secured area. Make it right about like that. There we go. And I think also that's that is going to get us to the next level of the tutorial. You can press the Z button to turn your areas on and off and see what's what. We also have to make doors because if we don't, these people are going to get stuck out here. Now we're also going to need a security checkpoint that goes into our secure area. So that's actually what I'm making right now. I may even want to securitize all of this, but I might not. I might just like close this portion off. Again, right now it's kind of like the box. As you all know, Gray is fantastic at making the box and the reinforced box. So that's kind of what we're doing. Security checkpoint. Uh, and we can have it literally right there. That's pretty cool. Because that's going to bring people into... So it's going to all... I guess this all connects and that'll bring people into our secure area. Now the other thing that we're going to need is we're going to need boarding desks. We're going to need check-in and we're going to need informational desks. So let's start with some, let's start with some of these check-in desks over here because we're definitely going to need that as people kind of file in. Put one over here, here. Actually, I'm probably going to have quite a few of these. Let's do like four over here. And then we'll do another four over here. And then we should be able to get some of these uh, informational desks in. What does it say about these? Uh, used by passengers to acquire information about the airport and flights. Requires at least one airport staff to function. Okay, that's fine. So now, is there a direction for this? If we zoom way in, we may be able to see... Oh, okay, I got it, I got it. Okay, so it has to be, like, right about here, I would say. So that the person can stand in the middle of it. Oh, you can't even put it back there, so it really doesn't matter. Can we fit another one in here? No, we can't. Okay. So one over here, and we'll have two of those for right now. We're going to let our guys go ahead and finish setting all this stuff up. You can see more boxes rolling in over here. Late at night, 12, uh, well, yeah, 12, 13 in the morning right now in the AM. $6,000 an hour going down, but that's just kind of how it goes in the big time over here when you're a freaking airport CEO. If we want while they're building everything, actually, I'm going to do half, half speed, half fast forward speed. Let's uh, go back over into our tutorial area and see what we got going on over here for right now. Okay, very good, very good. Security and queues. Okay, so we should probably make security and queues because I don't think that we have any at all right now. Even though it says that we're done with this, I know that we're probably going to have to do it. Oh, wow, they are all done over here. Like, look at this. They already have our security checkpoint, right? Oh, look at that. It's the Detector 2000, baby. That's what I'm talking about. Now, does this fit proper airport protocol appearances? Probably not. I've never really designed an airport before. I guess I could probably take, like, LaGuardia or something's blueprints and just copy it. But I kind of feel better, like, just kind of doing this on our own. Just kind of seeing how we do. So, if we go over here, passengers and employees are allowed to go through here. And that's appropriate. We can also build a queue. Looks like it sticks out of there. Now, how does it work? Oh, okay. It goes all the way over here. I got to tell you something, though. If you are, like, a super anally retentive person, oh, you're going to have a friggin' trip with this game. Oh, it's going to be friggin' majestic. Okay, and this should be plenty of queue. I have no idea how many people we're going to have. And you can see right there, the queue starts, goes all the way up. You can also do it, uh, you can also do it vertically, I would say, if you wanted to. But typically, I see the ones at my airports go like this, where they go from side to side. So that's kind of what I'm doing right now. Let's go ahead and build this queue as well. So right over there, the rest of these queues, though, look, this is what you guys did to me. I didn't used to be like this. I could have, back in the day, I could have jacked up, messy queues, no one cared. It wasn't a big thing. But now, from doing YouTube for so long, now I, too, have to have my frigging queues all facing the same direction, all the exact same length. Look at what you've done to me. All right. We've got all of our queues set up. We're connected to the public transport. We got zoning restrictions. We got security over here. We got security and stuff. Now, oh, use the U button to display queues. Oh, very cool. Okay, so zone Z, U for queues, aircraft fuel services. A great source of approval and economic growth in relation to your airport operations is the offering of airport fuel services. Aircraft are generally propelled by two different types of propellant, avgas, and Jet A1. Avgas 100LL is typically consumed by smaller GA aircraft, while Jet A1 is A-grade propellant used by commercial aircraft. Okay. 
So there are, however, of course, exceptions, and it may vary depending on, upon the aircraft model type. So it depends on what we want. If we want commercial, small aircraft, or private aircraft, or general aircraft, or whatever, or both, the first thing you need to do is procure a fuel technology via the procurement panel so that you can build the depots and accept contracts. Before you can offer aircraft refueling services, you need to sign a contract with an aircraft fuel provider. Do this by navigating to the Contracts tab in the, econo in the Economy panel to review your aircraft fuel provider options. Okay. So over here, now do we even have this yet? Oh, we shouldn't, should we? But over here, we need a Procurement Director is required to procure assets or unlocks. Okay, so we need to hire someone. Over here by employees. Over here by, actually, let's go to the board. So we need a procurement director. We're going to have an application open area. We can now check over here. We should start getting some. Uh, yeah, we already have a couple. We have, oh, look at the names. I'm going to call her Miss Columbo. They have all these different stats over here. The logic skill how smart an employee is and how accurate they are in making decisions. The pleasantness, how friendly they are. Technical, how well they perform in technical fields like computers or wrenches. And then this is handle stress. Indicates how well an employee performs over time. How well they sustain good work quality over lengthy shifts. Okay, so she's kind of average and below average in a couple of these. How, how's everyone else over here? Holy God, look at Karen Anderson. Oh, and this is what I said, by the way. Everyone had, look at this. Everyone has their own little blurb about them. It says, hi, my name is Karen Anderson. I have a master's degree from Oxford University. I've worked for 12 years. The most previous company I worked for was Mokrisoft. In my free time, I help the homeless. I'd love to work at your airport. Wasn't well, that nice? Uh, okay, so over here, Karen and Eric, how are you? Oh, wow. Eric and Karen are pretty close. I think that Eric's a little bit better at some of the technical stuff and the logic, and Karen's a little bit better at stress. Uh, so let's let's go with... Does it really matter that much? Let's go with Karen. Why not? We're going to go ahead and hire her. You, congratulations, you're hired. How does it make you feel? Welcome to the board of directors. CEO Gray McMoneybags signing you on on this day. Over to the economy area. We can unlock a couple things. Anti-spam filter. Oh, you do not meet the requirements. Oh, I need a CIO for that. Okay, well, that's fine. For right now, though, let us go ahead and scroll down so we can see. Ah, the Jet A1 fuel service. I kind of want commercial aircraft first, so let's go ahead and do that. We're going to start unlocking. Oh, we need an aircraft stamp. Okay. See, this is, this is kind of what I meant by the, uh, the tutorial. This is your level of tutorial. It kind of just lets you know, hey, Gray, you need these things, so let's go freaking grab them. All right, we're going to have two medium stands for right now. Now, does that count as having completed the tutorial, I wonder? Because technically, they're not down yet. It probably wouldn't. Over here to manuals. Let's go check this out real fast. Security, we did all that. Okay, so aircraft fuel services. Oh, that's right. I need the medium stands in order to get the fuel prepared. So, actually, back over here, over to, I think it was procurements. There we go. Okay, so we do need the stands first. So let's go ahead and let's fast forward things along so that these stands can get done real fast. Why am I making money? This is interesting. If you notice right there, I was making like 300,000. Oh, it was probably because I put some extra stands up and I didn't want them. So I put them. Holy crap, those came down fast. All right. Well, there we go. So now we should be able to unlock that particular... Oh, I have to put a little bit of a road right there. And, in fact, let's go ahead and do that right now because it looks a little weird. Economy, procurement, jet fuel. There we go. Oh, so we have to, like, research it or something like that. All right. Well, I'm going to let them go ahead and do that. And after that, we should be able, I think, to put ourselves down a refueling air... What is this over here? Airport screens. Oh, screens to show departure and arrival information. Oh, that's cool. I feel like we should have some of those down. I wonder how big they are. Where can I put them at, I wonder? Uh, let's see over here. Do they take up space? Oh, they sure do. We could put, like, one over here. Oh, what way, what direction do they come from? All right, right like that. There we go. And one over there for right now. I'm just going to put that right there. We'll probably have some more back in this area once everyone gets through the security checkpoint. That, I guess, would make sense. 
Let's go ahead and fast forward things along over here if we can. Yeah, there we go. So things should go fairly quickly with the research. While we're waiting on that, let us continue with our service roads because right now these service roads don't connect all the way. We can get rid of them when we put down more of the uh, more of the airports, more of the little um, which we call the stands over here. Right now, like I said, we're just gonna have our little two. Go ahead and get that completed. Still got 1.3 million dollars, so hopefully that's gonna be enough to get things continuously run. I told you, man. There's a lot before you ever even open up the airport. All right, our jet fuel service is unlocked, which means that now we should be able to prepare the refueling area. Also, I had to move some stuff over. This side was not exactly the same length as this side. So everything's kind of like off put a little bit down here. Like I said, I'm not gonna worry about it too much, but for like the purposes of the stands and stuff like that, it made it so they weren't the same amount of size for everything so for right now I kind of have it the way I want it over here fuel we have a fuel tank and we have a fuel depot Ooh, attachable fuel tank a tank that can be attached to a fuel depot in order to increase the stored fuel capacity for right now I think we just wow this thing is huge For right now I think we just need a depot now it looks like this automatically connects to our roadway which is pretty good so let's go ahead and put it right there. Like I said, this is going to be by the service road as well. So that's actually perfect because all the service vehicles are going to go back in here. In fact, I may want to continue moving some roadway down over here and then have like a checkpoint. As a matter of fact, we could do that right now if we want. We could have roadway over here. Oh, I bet it's because there's uh, I bet it's because there's sidewalks over here. Yep, that's what it is. Okay, that's fine. So I can double wide that sidewalk. I can put this, let's see, I could put this in, do I want it like this or do I want it to just go down? I could actually just have it go down, for instance, like right about here for right, well, where do I want it at? I could have it right about here for right now. And we could do the same thing with the other side, and then we can actually have it go and connect to this roadway over here like this, like that right there. And then we can do the exact same thing with the other side. There we go. And now if we want to, I'm pretty sure we have a, uh, like a, a roadway checkpoint over here. Yeah, here we go. A road checkpoint. That's what we want. So now, I'm curious if it has to be built on a road or if it has to have nothing under it. Oh, you know what? I'll bet it has to have nothing under it. That's probably what it is. Yeah. Okay. So let's, uh, let's go ahead and get rid of this. Grab our bulldozer briefly. Let's go ahead and just clean all that up. That's good. It hadn't even been built yet, so I don't have to worry about it too much. Uh, and then the road checkpoint, and we should be, yep, there we go. Okay, good, good. So we can do that like that. Now, is there a way in and a way out, or do you need a way in, and then do you need to also build a way out? See how it's only showing one way in? So you can have the way in over there, I guess, and you can have the way out over here if you wanted to. So let's try, again, I'm winging some of this recognize. Like, I know a little bit about the game. I don't know a lot about the game at all. So for someone who knows nothing about the game, hopefully this will help slightly. So there we go. So we can put this like this. So now we have a checkpoint going in, and we have a checkpoint going out. Although I really don't know why you would need one going out so much. Because you'd figure people would just, like, they would get checked coming in. Do they really need to get checked going out? I mean, maybe. Maybe that makes sense. I mean, you don't want them stealing anything once they get back in here. Actually, it's probably a better idea to have it like that. So, I think I'm going to go ahead and keep it that way. So, the fuel depot is getting prepared over here. As a matter of fact, while that's happening, we could also hire more individuals uh, for board members and stuff like that. If we go over here, I think we needed, like, a CIO, I think it was, in order for us to unlock the spam filter. Uh, if you don't know what the spam filter is, we've been getting emails this entire damn time. And a lot of times, some of it will just be random crap that we don't need. So over here... Oh, here we go, here we go, here we go. Wow, this is a high-paying job. $81 and uh, $81.3 an hour. Let's go check out Borislav Kov... Oh, my God. Um, okay, he's not bad. 113, you better be fantastic. He's okay, but I don't know if he's 113 worthy. Oh, maybe he is. Everyone else is, uh, pretty bleh. But, well, you know what? We could probably have Boris do his pleasantness is garbage. You know what? This guy's great under stress. He costs an arm and a leg. His name is Brian Kamu. 
He has a master's degree from Stenfard University. He's worked for 13 years over here. The most previous company he worked for was at Popsis Consulting. In my free time, I work at the shelter. I'd love to work at your airport. He's 44 years old. He's from Mombasa. You, sir, are now hired. Well done. Well done, my good man. Over here by procurement, we have the uh, Fjord Fuel Truck. It will assist our airport with refueling aircraft and jet uh, A1 aviation fuel. While it may be slow and ineffective, it makes up for this with a charming humming noise. Noise? That is sure to soothe your employees. Let's unlock the spam filter for right now. We're probably going to have to unlock this as well. Do not have the requirements. What do we need for this? Road checkpoint and a vehicle depot. Okay. A vehicle depot, you say? And where would you like our vehicle depot at, I wonder? Basically, vehicle depot. Used by airport vehicles to park when not used. Okay. So, this is like parking for, for the airport. Uh, so where exactly do I want this at? Probably on, maybe on, like, this side over here, perhaps? Yeah, we could probably put it over here. Actually, we could probably put it right past this checkpoint. Like, probably like this for right now. I don't exactly know what it looks like, so I want to kind of get a look at it. But having some parking back here past the, uh, past the checkpoint is probably a good idea. What do you guys think of Airport CEO? I told you it was a crazy game, man. This thing is as involved as you can get. And like I said, we haven't even we haven't even gotten to the point where we're open yet. Feel free to let me know what you think about it in the comment section below. Like I said, links to this game also going to be in the description. Until the next time, folks, stay foxy and much love.